first of all, thank you all for coming here on such a short notice today. As many of you know, Canadian journalist Melissa Fung was abducted in Afghanistan on October the 12th, well, on assignment for the CBC. I'm happy to say that I received notice earlier today that Melissa Fung has been free. This is wonderful news for her family, for her colleagues, and for all Canadians. Her safe release has always been the main objective of everyone involved. I want to thank all those individuals and organizations, both here in Canada and in Afghanistan, who worked so tirelessly to assure this outcome. I would like to pay particular tribute to our Afghan partners who were instrumental in making this happen. I spoke to President Karzai immediately after this abduction occurred. He promised me the full cooperation and engagement of his government, and he delivered. Throughout this entire episode, everyone demonstrated the utmost dedication and professionalism. As I noted, Ms. Fung was first abducted on October 12th. I would like to thank members of the press who, understanding the grave risk to Ms. Fung's life, have deferred publishing this story today. A short while ago, I was pleased to speak with Melissa and myself to convey our great joy and best wishes on behalf of all Canadians. I can also report that Melissa wishes especially to convey to all her colleagues in the media that she's okay. The Afghan government, what happened? Well, uh, just quickly on the first part of the question, um, uh, Rosemary, she, uh, she sounded uh, in remarkably good spirits uh, under the circumstances, and that's uh, uh, probably the best way I can put it. Um, look, uh, I didn't press her for uh, too many details of her own story. I know that as a journalist, she's going to want to uh, relay that story herself uh, to her colleagues and ultimately to all Canadians. Um, in terms of uh, in terms of the role that was played uh, by the government of Canada, uh, I can just say that uh, you know, everybody in the government of Canada, there were a wide range of agencies, uh, literally hundreds of people involved on our end. Uh, similarly, for the government of Afghanistan, that worked uh, in uh, uh, full coordination and cooperation at all stages. Uh, beyond that, uh, you know, there's not a lot I can say. 